A few days ago, space weather forecasters saw this eruption from the surface of the sun. It doesn't look all that impressive, but then something else happened. So we had one eruption early on the 28th of March, and that was headed towards Earth, and now we've had a second eruption behind that one. And so these two are combined now, and both heading towards Earth. But before you freak out, Rob Steenberg, a space scientist at the Space Weather Prediction Center, says while this is a strong geomagnetic storm. So on a one to five scale right now, we've got a forecast out for tomorrow of G3. Most people won't notice impacts. These storms happen when the magnetic field of a solar flare interacts with Earth's magnetic field. It sounds complex and maybe a little concerning, but the storm isn't strong enough to cause infrastructure issues. However, if you rely on GPS or use radio communication, expect some disruptions. You know, airlines know uh, people who use uh, high frequency radios for communications, so let them know. Uh, so there's a variety of customers um, that, we, uh, that we interact with to help them prepare for these things. While a geomagnetic storm won't have an impact on your cell phone, as we rely on more technology, space weather affects us, even if we don't notice. Space weather is, is becoming more impactful to society, and so NOAA and the Space Weather Prediction Center, you know, that's our role is to be America's source for those watches, warnings, and alerts. Meteorologist Rachel Dunsing, CBS 17.